Cocos Creator is a node-based game engine. So when a developer adds an image, camera, light, or other object, it's represented by a node. Each node includes a location, size, and rotation, even if the node won't be visible to the player. To add this component to your node, just create it, and it will be at the top of your node's properties. This component comes with four different properties to work from. The first is position. This tells you the location it is in space in both 2D and 3D space. The position of the X, Y, and Z axis for 3D games in Cocos Creator follows the Cartesian right-hand approach, where you take your right hand and extend your pointer finger up, stick your thumb out and to the right, and the middle finger pointed at you. This thumb represents the X axis, the pointer finger to the Y axis, and the middle finger to the Z axis. In 2D, the 0, 0 is located at the bottom left. And at 3D, the location is at the center of the screen. Don't worry how this changes between different platforms, as the engine will handle any issues for you. The rotation of an object can be done on either the X, Y, or Z axis. Or a mix of all of them. When you make a rotation positive, it goes counterclockwise, with negative going clockwise. Scale tells you how to increase the size of an object on all three axes, and you are able to change these separately if needed. Layer allows you to have different items visible within the camera at different times. This helps to create different cameras or lighting effects in your game. You can control all of these properties from the node class of the API. To learn more about layers and other items we discussed, check out the Cocos Creator documentation.